Hello and welcome to your Adobe Connect tutorial brought to you by Meeting One University. This section is about layouts and the presenter only area. The presenter only area is an excellent tool available to meeting hosts and presenters where they can upload content without being seen in the main room. They can prepare pods and coordinate efforts in that area is not seen by participants. To enable the presenter only area, the host can click on meeting followed by enable presenter only area. Once enabled in the presenter only area, you can see pods that have been added to the presenter only area, including chat, QA, presenter, and the engagement dashboard. Any of these pods can be added at any time. Any new pod added to the room when the presenter only area is open will automatically be entered into the presenter only area first. The engagement dashboard only can be in the presenter only area and cannot be moved from there. The engagement dashboard monitors activity in your Adobe Connect session by monitoring the Q&A pod as well as any poll pods that you may have. The engagement dashboard monitors the activity in the room, meaning the engagement of the participant by having the window open and active. The more accurate engagement is in the QA and any poll pods that you have. Now let's talk about layouts. To disable my presenter only area, I go back to meeting and disable presenter only area. Layouts. Layouts are created by meeting hosts in order to have different pods set up with pre-filled content Having different layouts pre-filled with polling questions, web links, etc. helps create dynamic interactive meetings. There's no limit to how many layouts you can have. It can be 5 or 20. Having over 20 can affect the speed of your meeting, however. To switch between layouts, simply click on the layout that you wish to see. Changing the layout changes the layout for everyone in the session. The layouts bar can be on the right or left. By clicking on the menu option, it will move the layout bar. Only hosts can see the layout bar. To create a new layout, you simply click on the plus icon at the bottom of the screen and it will ask you to create a new layout. You can use a blank one or create an existing and you can name the new layout. If you choose a blank one, there will be no pods and you can add pods as needed. To delete a layout, simply click on the X next to the layout. To rename a layout, you can double click on the name and rename the layout. You can also close the layout bar to get a full screen and when you want it back come to layouts and open layout bar. Layouts can also be managed through the layouts button at the top of your screen. You can manage them or reset them. And that concludes our tutorial on the presenter only area and layouts. For more information visit us at meetingone.com support. Thank you.